Hey guys, what's up? D1 here. So, Machine just dropped the uh, 2.8 update. The update that everybody wanted. What? You liar! <clears throat> so yeah, the main feature is the integration with sounds.com. And because a lot of people seem confused on how to use it or how does it work, I uh, decided to make this quick video. So here's the deal. Uh, sounds.com doesn't mess up your browser. It doesn't show up anywhere if you decide not to use it. It's not intrusive at all. You won't even notice uh, any difference. So yeah, for everyone who doesn't understand how it works, uh, here's uh, how it goes. You go on the website, right? And you browse for sounds. Let's say, let's say I like this sound. And I like this one too, okay? So I'll add it to a new collection. Um, my fire loops, color, my fire loops, okay, that, that's enough. I'll create that. Stop playing, goddammit. So that was added to my collection, and now I'll add another one by clicking here. It's synced. Okay, so now I have these two loops on my collection. If I go over here to my collection, and I press this button and click download all to NI apps. I click that. It's gonna send. It's gonna tell me I'm gonna spend two of my credits. I click. I click OK. So it downloaded the sounds in the background. So now if I go over here to my browser and check for loops and scroll all the way to the bottom, well, it's not here yet. I'm not sure how long it takes for the sounds to synchronize. It does take a little bit, about a minute or so. So let's see. It's still not here. Still not here. It's kind of annoying that it takes a while. I mean, I think the whole point of this is to be instantaneous. Okay, here it is. So now that I've spent some credits and actually downloaded my collection, it starts showing up over here. So and all my loops, uh, user bank loops, I have a bunch of expansions. If I uh, minimize this, I can see my uh, sounds outcome collection here. If I click it, I can preview the loops. And if I change the VPN, yeah, I can preview the loops in the VPN that I'm working with. and. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the whole procedure. You go through the website, pick a sound, add it to a collection, click the download to NI apps, and then wait for about, I don't know, 30 to 40 seconds or a minute or so, and it show up on your library. Now, if you download, let's go over here and browse again. If we download, let's say, okay, this kick, it's a one shot. Let's see another kick. Okay, so this is um, 808 one shot. If I let's create another collection, it's very lit one shots. Let's find another one. What is this? Okay, it's a snare. Let's add it to the collection as well. My lit one shots. Okay. Now we go to our collection, do the same thing, add to all the NI apps. Okay. It just spent some credits. It's downloading. Now we're going to have to wait a while. And now we go to one shots. Uh, the browser now has two sections, one for loops and one for one shots. And the icon for, um, we, ha we used to have two icons over here for user banks and for uh, factory stuff. And now there's just one. If you click it, you go into your user stuff. And if you unclick it, you get back to the factory stuff. So it's pretty much a toggle now. I guess it's to declutter the browser. So yeah, one shot. Let's see what it is. It still, still isn't here. Okay. Hmm. Still not here. I'm just clicking around to see if it refreshes. 
Okay, here it is. One shots. Now, if I load a one shot, the one shot will always uh, load up in the sampler and the loops. Select another sound and the loops load up in the uh, audio module. Yeah, that was the same behavior as before. So yeah, let's say that um, you are testing this and you don't like it and you don't want to see uh, your collections over here anymore and you don't want nothing to do with sounds.com. All you need to do is go to your collection, click delete. It stays on this uh, gray page. I have no idea why. It just uh, freezes, so I'll refresh it. This is a new feature, so they probably need to iron out some bugs. I'll delete the other one. Delete. Refresh the page. Okay, great. So now, I'm just going to delete these sounds too, just in case. So now that I've deleted uh, the, the loops and one shots from my library, it no longer shows the icon over here. Adding them takes a little bit, but deleting deleting them seems to be uh, instantaneous. So yeah, no sounds.com icon here anymore. And that's it. Although your samples are still there, if you want to download them again, you can. You just check your library and your history of... Okay, I go to my download history, and all the samples I've downloaded are still there. And if I want to download them or add them to a collection again, I'm not going to spend another credit, obviously. So, yeah, that's pretty much how the basics work for um, sounds.com and machine integration. And, yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully that clears some confusion, and I'll see you next time. Peace!